Today is April 12th, uh, Saturday. We came out to work on the property, on the pump house, which I'll show you in a second. And that is what they got done this week. The footer forms are in, and they are leveled up, ready to pour concrete. The county came out and did their inspection, and... We're ready to pour, so hopefully that'll be early next week. Uh, up there, as in the other videos, is my temporary pump house, so we can get working water. My dad's out here helping me today. So we got a 86-gallon pressure tank, and the pressure switch, and the flow backflow valve pressure relief valve, the drain valve, and the pressure gauge, and the tank put in place. And that is what is there so far. Here's the tank. Ordered all that stuff online, got a great deal. Shipped right to the house. You can see the back flow, back flow preventer. The unions in case we have a problem with the tank. There'll be another union off of this line. I'll make an, I'll add a video to this later. Pressure relief valve, dump valve, gauge, pressure switch. This little piece of pipe right here is 12 inches long. It's because there's a requirement for electrical to be 12 inches above the ground. And in any case, that's why it's there. Here's the piping we're going to tie into. Uh, controller box. We'll have a wire coming out of there through the wall and down to that. So we're adding primer to the inlet piping and connecting the last piece of pipe to it. Have to move so I can move the tank, but pull the tank out for me, please. Push it back, please. If you would. Thank you. Okay. It's easier than fighting it. Okay. And that's it. There's the pipe. Connect it up. So we're adding a piece of the return line with our disconnect unions and our shutoff valve that will tie into that pipe right over there on the wall. And you are making a mess. I know, it really ticks me off that we got all that glue, I mean that primer all over it. It makes it look like crap, but oh well. Doesn't affect the operability. All right, so we're going to install the last piece of piping to the return, which for right now we'll supply a couple of water spigots on the property, but when we're all said and done, we'll supply the house. That's it. Plumbing done. We're working on the wiring. You can see the pressure switch is there. We've got our leads that come from the control box, which the black, yellow, red come from the wellhead. 
L2 and L1 will come from the pressure switch which will be fed from the power panel and we gotta run to the hardware store and pick up a new lead to connect that up um, yeah John? Yep. We're installing the last electrical pigtail to the pressure switch from the electrical panel. So you can see here we got the one end of the pigtail in, comes up, runs across, comes up, ties into the 30 amp breaker which is this. Got our ground to our ground bar, the other end of our pigtail is out and it will go into this hole here and be sticking out like this and it will I got the last lead in place to the pressure switch. It's installed up through the wall to the panel like I showed you before. So down here, because it's a 230 amp, excuse me, 230 volt pump, we've got two hot leads, which are these two, and two more, which are the outs. So we will have black, red, red, black. And our green is our ground which will go to the ground screw here. And our other green will go to this ground screw there. And we should be done. And, uh, and you can see we have that all wired up. It turns out it was red to red and black to black and green to ground. Panels covered back up. And our 30 amp is off, so we're going to turn our main on, which should make our, hey, our light works. And turn the bat on, and we hear water. So our pump turned on. And our pressure gauge is climbing. It is at 40. It sounds like it shut off. Turned off. I don't know why I sound so surprised. I know we did it right. <laughs> so I'm gonna go turn on the So we put this concrete pad in with the water spigot back when we put the garage slab in. And my dad's gonna turn it on for the first time with the plastic cap still on it. <laughs> There we go. And look at that. We have water. A lot of water. Which is good. That was the first time that ever got turned on. So we finished up the weld. We've got our pressure switch. We had to drain some of the pressure down in the tank to make all the system work right. Um, but everything's working right. Which is really good. It didn't look back bad either. Made the piping look good and all the wiring and it worked first time. We're gonna wander up to 